623 here on this Tuesday morning and it is time for today's talker. Former Milwaukee Bucks head coach Mike Budenholzer says goodbye to the Cream City in an Instagram post. Here it is. He thanked the organization, his players and said winning the championship and celebrating with the entire city is a memory he will cherish forever. Yeah, in closing, he said, quote, it has been an honor to do this job. I will be forever grateful. In my mind, there was no better place to work than for the Bucks and for Milwaukee. He finished by saying it is time for a beer. I feel you, coach, and some sun on one of the lakes. So, I mean, you got to love that, right? Well, yeah. Giannis also, you know, some of the players are responding. He took to Instagram to say thank you for five meaningful years, coach. We accomplished something unbelievable, and I'm forever grateful. I mean, you have to give the man his props, though, yeah. right? He took the, the team yeah. to the first championship in, in 50 years. This was a winning team the entire season. Mm -hmm. Up until the Best playoffs record. were a little rough. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, you have to just acknowledge what he has done for this franchise. Yeah. Absolutely. I know that yeah, Pat Connaughton also uh, put some stuff on yeah. Instagram and Twitter. And, and you know, having Giannis do that, too, is important because there was a lot of talk, obviously, when the coach was fired, that Giannis kind of put the nail in the coffin mm -hmm. by talking about some, you know, maybe missed opportunities in the playoffs. So, yeah. yeah. And he was going through a lot, too. We've acknowledged yeah. that as well. Yeah. So, so. We're missing him around town. You know, you used yeah. to always see him at the public market. Really? Coach cookies? Bud. He used like to get he's cookies, routine. but I would just see him just walking Never around. Right? Him. He lived in the third ward, and he would just yeah. be around there all the time. So. That's the coolest thing about the Bucks. It's yeah. like you can see them. You find them everywhere. everywhere. You're walking around. Mm -hmm. And I think so the cool. majority of the people just let them be as yeah. well. Mm -hmm. um, I'm sure some people say, yeah, it's yeah, it's a big picture. But majority of people just let them be and, and you know, go about their business. But, yeah, so cool. as you mentioned, we got to give props to Coach Bud because yeah. that celebration, it just united the city. And yeah. what a cool thing to see so many people yeah. just uniting together to celebrate a win here in Milwaukee. Love it. That was a good memory for sure. All right, we're going international now. An Australian woman survived five days in the <laughs> wild on a bottle of wine and some lollipops. <laughs> yep, you heard that right. A rescue helicopter spotted the woman last Thursday and directed police to her. She says while on vacation, she made a wrong turn and ended up at a dead end. Ooh. Yeah, so this is how it happened also. Then while trying to make that turn, her car got stuck in the oh, mud. Oh, no. See it there. there was no cell phone service in the area, so she was only planning a short trip. So she had a few snacks in her vehicle along with a bottle of wine that she had bought for her mother. She was treated at a local hospital for dehydration. Oh my uh, gosh. Pretty scary scenario for her. I mean, at least she had the wine. Mm -hmm. I was going to say, it'll be a bottle of wine of I liquid. buy for my mom that'll save my life. <laughs> <You're right>. <laughs> <laughs> yes. At least she had the wine and some snacks to eat. Could you just imagine if she didn't have yeah. anything in the vehicle? Oh my, that's so scary. Yeah. Yeah. Have you guys ever been lost or like thought? Like no, that. but I yeah, think no. about that too. Like, think yeah. about not having service and you're yeah. in the middle of nowhere and you're just like, what? am I going to do, especially if you don't know how to survive or take care of yourself off yeah. of little bit of nothing, wine. you know, yeah. um, she probably had to, consume, she probably was taking like just little drops sips. of wine because yeah. you don't, know, you don't how know how long. So thankfully and, that helicopter yeah. was able to spot her. I was just saying, I mean, look through your car for candy, anything you might have. Anything, yeah. I only have water, baby, and a blanket. This well, is my excuse supplies. to put a whole bunch of stuff in my car. Yep. You gave her <laughs> kits at this point. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll be eating it every day, and that exactly. will suck somewhere. <laughs> speaking of food. Well, yeah, speaking of food, some fast food chains are the latest businesses to jump on the AI bandwagon. According to a release by parent company CKE Restaurant Holdings, Carl's Jr. and Hardy's locations are launching artificial intelligence technology to actually take orders in drive through yeah, The company says it's in an effort to boost accuracy, speed, and revenue, as well as manage staffing shortages. Huh. I don't know. What do you all think about this? I don't know. I mean, I have mixed feelings because there yeah. have been some drive throughs mm -hmm. that you go to that the AI might be nicer. Yeah. You know, oh, yeah. sometimes. <laughs> some people are just like, what? What, what do you want? want? What do you want? <laughs> what you need? Why are you here? Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know. This makes me think of food. like, I remember in Par Paris, my husband and I went to McDonald's because yeah. we were, I was too nervous to go anywhere like and try to order anything in French. But Paris had like, you would go in and you would order everything off of this like, it was like a computer essentially. Yeah. They had a couple yeah. of those. Yeah. yeah. And so I was, like, this to me isn't too far off from that because obviously it wasn't any human interaction except for they put the order out. It has to have been a long time since you've been in a McDonald's because they have those Do all they have those all over the place now? <laughs> yeah. It has been a long time. But on the other end, I, I, I would hate for it to take away jobs. Yeah. That's the no. thing. Yeah. But there is a staffing shortage too. I mean, yeah. a lot of places can't, can't find get workers. The jobs so to fill. 
This is, I mean, it's it's a constant cycle here of what what's going to it's going to be better for and what's going to be worse for. Yep. Although, as you all know, I'm afraid the AI is going to take over the world. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah. our producer is getting upset with us. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, it's on. called the talker. <laughs>